So hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Talking Tech and we are still at the Smart Home Expo 2022 and we are now at the GM store. Mr. Hitin sir with me from GM. So first of all, uh, let Mr. Hitin sir introduce himself uh, and uh, then we'll talk more about GM and get some insights out of it. So Hitin sir. So hi, uh, my name is Hitin Desai and uh, I had the automation uh, division for GM. Okay. I've been in the industry for about 14 years now and uh, it's been exciting uh, all through. Amazing. Uh, sir, uh, the first question will be like what GM uh, brought to the Smart Home Expo? Uh, innovation. Oh, that's a great answer. Uh, but if I talk specifically about the products and what kind of products uh, like GM is offering? Uh, all the products that you see are technology driven. Each and every, even if it's a switch, if it's a light and of course automation for which this uh, exhibition is all about. Yeah, that's like, yeah, that's that's right. But uh, if we see like uh, a, a way back, so how GM start? GM started with the normal switches because the automation is something that's introduced later on, right? Right. So GM started with? Uh, we started with uh, normal switches. Uh, we, we have a very big and uh, uh, wide range in switches. Today, I think about seven plus uh, seven to eight uh, ranges of switches we have. Uh, our flagship brand, uh, four or five, is one of the largest selling in the country. And uh, uh, within that, we've got automation as well. So what we've done is we synergized uh, normal modular switches with smart switches. So in a single plate, you can have a TikTok switch and a smart switch sitting right next to each other. And besides that, you can have a 6 ampere, 16 ampere socket. So it all works seamlessly. Uh, and sir, as you have seen the journey of both the traditional switches and now the smart switches, uh, how is this Indian market? Do these market uh, like is accepting the smart switches or like what's the proportion of the sales if we talk about the modular switches and the smart switches? So it's this today is the wrong time to talk about proportion, mm -hmm. but today is the right time to talk about the acceptance. Right. Okay. Yeah. So uh, market. market is accepting it very well, especially when we are in the market, we see uh, a great demand for our smart switches. We see the uh, appreciation for the technology behind those switches. We also see that GM as a brand is well respected in the market. So people also believe a lot in our uh, product and solutions. And that's why our, the acceptance level at our counters are much, much more higher. Amazing. And uh, can you share what is your like hottest product, the most selling product, which is, is that one? So it's a difficult question here, boss. Uh, everything is hot selling. Uh, at Jeebus uh, KNX is one of the very, very well uh, accepted. We've been around since 2013. We are man first Indian manufacturer certified for KNX in uh, India uh, since 2013. Okay. And uh, uh, that's hot selling. What, what's that product about? So it's automation based on the KNX platform. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. So that's hot selling. Then we've come up with a even more uh, lucrative proposition for the customer, which is uh, iFi Pro, which is Wi-Fi, totally retrofit. You can uh, convert a 100-year-old home, uh, heritage home into a smart home, control everything there without even, you know, doing anything to the wiring. No single chip required, nothing. Just, just retrofit, totally retrofit. So how hot selling that you expect it to be? <laughs> Uh, very very much uh, one, one question arises like I'm not very much clear is GM a B2B or B2C or both we're essentially uh, consumer driven customer driven like B2C. Uh, we understand what the customer wants mm -hmm. we bring out products which the customer wants which they w wish to have maybe a glass plate maybe a leather plate maybe a uh, uh, Swarovski uh, plate we are in all segments. All segments that a customer wants us to be in. However, our, all our sales are through B2B. B2B. Right. Okay. So all sales happen B2B. All sales happen B2B. Uh, but all our products are B2C driven. Okay, okay. Got it. It's like the mentality is consumer driven. But ulti uh, ultimately, you are selling to the business, the B2B. 
I'm getting your point completely. That was a great answer, by the way. And uh, uh, the next question is like, what we can expect in near future? What that one interesting thing that we can expect from GM? Can you share some glimpse or teaser kind of thing that we can expect you know, from you? So I'll I'll sum it up again, like you like I started it. What we've been giving to the customers since about 20 years, innovation. I can assure you, guarantee that GM will come up with innovation. I can assure you, I can guarantee technology in the next 20 years. All that is going to be possible in the next 20 years. So uh, now I have a couple of rapid fire kind of questions, so you can answer it in one word or one sentence. So I'll directly throw it to you. So our uh, channel is an educational channel, so our audience is majority students and makers. Okay, so uh, students and makers. Okay, Th those community are uh, is our audience, and mm -hmm. I have the questions related to those community. Okay, so those are technical questions which goes like like sure. first of all, which uh, software do you use for designing PCBs? Oh, that's a hugely uh, uh, highly uh, technical. technical question uh, we don't we don't get into designing per se but we choose among the best okay so there's no need for us to design where it can be outsourced okay so most of the uh, uh, manufacturing it depends a lot upon the speed of you know availability I start design today, it, it will take me three years to come up with a particular thing. Whereas there are agencies involved in the market, available, who have ready designs. We have to tweak it to our requirement. So can I consider it as an outsource? Yes, why not? Yeah, got it, got it. So you must not be hanging the answer because it is outsourced. Yes. Great. Uh, so probably all the questions are related to those product uh, details only. So probably every answer yeah, will I would not, I would not uh, uh, of course. It's not fair for me to reveal manufacturing details. No, obviously not. And uh, it's not uh, uh, of any use to any student or anybody in the market industry uh, to understand how we go about it. So why why I'm say, yeah, saying yeah. this this is because there are lot, there are a lot of inputs which is required into ma uh, manufacturing of uh, any product, and I would like to. Keep it simple. No problem. But my only agenda for asking this question is uh, because as, as the audience is student, I want them to know what the industry is using so that they can prepare for the industry. That's the only agenda I'm asking. So, Nothing else. So, so uh, let me let me just uh, answer it uh, very briefly, saying that uh, we use the we use the most common tool available. We use the most common tool. We would uh, definitely insist on building a great product then using a great uh, only a, using a great software got it got it got it got it so like uh, now uh, talking about the uh, student perspective only what a gm looks for uh, talking about the skills while hiring the new tech peoples generally what skills do you expect from those peoples attitude that's the first and most important thing i see in a person uh, second, of course, uh, the aptitude for it. Uh, if I look at a salesperson, I would like to have him uh, on field all the time. If I was, if I have a designer or if I have a tech support guy, then I would want him to have a lot and lot of uh, uh, hands-on experience. That's that's the difference between what I look at. Perfect. And one, one last question, if you can answer, uh, probably I don't think you will answer, but what kind of like technologies, this is again just for the students perspective, sure. what kind of, uh, see IoT has a lot of communication protocols and technologies involved in it, Wi-Fi, Zigbee, Bluetooth, LoRa. So what uh, uh, GM General uses for their IoT uh, communication for the IoT, which protocol do you use? Basic Wi-Fi. Basic Wi-Fi. Okay, it. so all your products 2. are... 2.4G uh, and 4G, that's it. Uh, okay, okay. So basically, majority of products are related to the Wi-Fi. Yes. Amazing, amazing. So that was a lot of insights we got from the uh, uh, Hiten sir for GM. Thank you so much, Hiten sir, uh, for you know sparing the time because he is quite a busy guy. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry to have you know postponed it thrice, but uh, thank you very much. But it was worth it, sir. Thank you so much.